Hey everyone, Anthony here with Samsung Digital Imaging and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Samsung NX camera. So most of you already know Samsung has already amazing features and technology inside their cameras but to keep pushing the latest and greatest features to their products Samsung will release firmware updates on all of their cameras from time to time. These updates help your camera stay up to speed with the new features and also fix any bugs that may have shown up in previous firmware. Now there are three ways to update your NX camera. You can use the iLauncher software, you can download the firmware directly from samsung.com, and lastly, uh, a kind of new feature is using the Wi-Fi update feature on your camera. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update firmware using my NX500, so please just keep in mind to fully charge your NX camera before performing any firmware update to help prevent your camera from malfunctioning. The first method I'll show you is with using the iLauncher software. Now this method not only allows you to update your camera, but also checks for lens firmware updates as well. I personally consider this method as one of the most simple. To use this method, you'll need the iLauncher software installed on your computer. If you don't have this software already installed on your PC or Mac, just be sure to follow the link in the description below and watch our how-to video for installing the software. First, you'll want to plug in your camera via micro USB into your computer and switch the camera to the on position. The iLauncher software should automatically open up. If not, simply click the icon on your computer to activate the iLauncher program. Once open, you'll notice that the iLauncher software automatically recognizes the camera. There's my NX500. Click on software update and the computer begins to check the Samsung servers for any available updates. Once iLauncher has located the updates, it'll give you a brief overview of what's included in the firmware. Click Next and the iLauncher software will give you some precautions about downloading the firmware, such as making sure the camera stays plugged in and turned on. Click Next to begin downloading the firmware. And just for the sake of time, we'll speed up the video so that way you can see the completed download process. Once downloaded, the iLauncher software gives you directions on how to install the firmware. And since I'm going to show you how to install it, just press the close button. Now unplug your camera from your computer, turn your camera on and press the menu button. Scroll down to general settings and select device information. Now select software update. If you're updating your camera body firmware, select body firmware, or if you're updating the lens firmware, select lens firmware. The camera will now show you which firmware it will be updating to. Once installed, the camera will restart and the installation will be complete. The next method to install the newest firmware on your camera is to download it directly from Samsung.com. First, go to your web browser and go to Samsung.com. Now in the search box, type in the model number of your camera. This is the NX500, so I'll type in NX500. Scroll down the page and on the right side, click on Product Support. From there, you'll want to scroll to Downloads and select Download Zip. You'll see a quick message from Samsung in regards to downloading the file. Press Continue. The file will begin to download and will appear in your Downloads folder or wherever you send any downloaded file. Insert your camera's memory card into your computer and open up the root of the folder. Now open up the folder that your firmware was saved in and copy the nx500.bin file to the root of your memory card. Once copied, insert your memory card back into your camera while it is off. Turn your camera on and press the menu button. Scroll down to general settings and select device information. Now select software update. If you're updating your camera body firmware, select body firmware, or if you're updating the lens firmware, select lens firmware. The camera will now show you which firmware it will be updating to. Once installed, the camera will restart and the install will be complete. The last method to update your camera's firmware is to use the Wi-Fi in your home or current location. You'll want to make sure the camera is connected to the available Wi-Fi network first. Simply select the arrow located at the top of your camera screen, turn Wi-Fi network to on, and select your available Wi-Fi network. Type in any network passwords if needed and press the enter button.
Now press the menu button. Scroll down to general settings and select device information. Select software update and then select download via Wi-Fi. The camera will connect to the Samsung servers and begin to search for any new firmware. Once the new firmware has been found, select download. Please keep in mind a steady Wi-Fi connection is necessary for the download to be successful. For the sake of time, we'll speed up the video. Once downloaded, press the menu button, scroll down to general settings and select device information. Now select software update. The camera will now show you which firmware it will be updating to. Once installed, the camera will restart and the install will be complete. Hopefully this video gave you a good idea of which method of firmware installation is right for you. If you have any questions or suggestions on future videos you would like to see, just leave them in the comment section below. Again, I'm Anthony with Samsung Digital Imaging. Thanks for watching.